What's up guys, Ryan here. So in this video, I just thought of the challenge 10 seconds ago. I want to see how fast I can come up with a niche that is worth potentially selling in for Amazon FBA. And I'm going to show you exactly as I would do it as if it's, I'm not recording a YouTube video as if it was just me right now by myself trying to come up with a new niche. So I'm going to start by going to AMZ Scout Pro. And I'm gonna just click the little uh, the little kind of roulette niche button here, the niche idea button. I call it the easy button. And this way, rather than me thinking of what niche to look into, I'm going to kind of leverage this and see where it points me. So it just said something about uh, automatic soap dispenser. I'm not a fan of that. Here we go. We got beard grooming. By the way. This is me under the gun. I'm trying to do this like fast and efficiently while also not cutting corners. Meaning just because this uh, Amazon research tool suggests a niche does not mean I'm just going to like go ahead and trust it and like open up my wallet and go find a supplier. I'm going to do actual research beyond just this. So one thing to note is that look at the keywords that are input right here. Beard grooming and trimming kit beard care gift for men. That's that is extra long tail keywords like there's long tail keywords like beard grooming and trimming kit and then there's extra long tail keywords like this um so this has an eight niche score that's pretty high for amz scout standards the only thing is and let me just walk you through some of these parameters it has 46 results that's not very many i guarantee you there's more results than that on amazon but again extra long tail keywords is refining the picture being painted by the search results because of how many keywords are put in there. So be careful. If you enter broad keywords, you get a broad picture. If you put very specific keywords, you get a very specific picture. But that doesn't mean that like when you sell beard grooming kit, you're selling to more than just people who type in this string of key of like 10 keywords or whatever it is. All right. Monthly sales average 318. That's perfect. 10 a day. Great number. Average sales rank over 100K. Eh, that, that metric's not that important because it's it's averaged out whatever average price right around 20 bucks yes that's i mean i'd rather it be 25 or higher but 1969 is uh definitely doable average reviews 260 that's a ton that is a lot saturation score one how is that possible niche score eight uh the only thing that it's knocking is numerous reviews but it says unsaturated niche it's rare to see anything graded as unsaturated on amazon um, just out of sheer curiosity, I'm going to go to Alibaba too and see if there are suppliers selling like kits, like just straight up kits, um, already assembled, like pre like a package of stuff together. Yeah. Hey, that's not bad. Oh yeah. Also, when you come to Alibaba, I recommend like trade assurance Just check that. Uh, also there is no harm done in checking verified suppliers well just to filter out like some of the middlemen like they you're not going to filter out like the trading companies and all the middlemen but you'll filter out the ones that like aren't paying for the premium membership um and some of the like lesser established people so there's no harm done in doing that obviously there's still a ton of results so it didn't didn't hurt anything at all all right um also i'm not going to do a deep dive into alibaba but these pricings that they're listing here are to entice you they are not the actual price so but it does look like there are some decent kits put together. Obviously, we would never trust this without ordering samples. But, I mean, this looks good. And uh, let's just say that it was... Oh, we got some audio too. Uh, YouTube's about to demonetize my video. By the way, I don't even have monetization, so whatever. I'm not getting paid anything by YouTube. So, yeah, but this is interesting. So, the kits already exist. Um, this is something we could potentially look into. However, there is another, and this is just me in real time. So, you're getting to see exactly how I'd do it. I like this website, Sonar Tool, um, because it's great for just high level keyword insights. And so, these this is the primary traffic driving keyword. For, and this is a free tool, by the way, sonar tool.com. I'm throwing a lot of info out there, but like I said, I'm under the gun. I'm trying to do this fast. All right, beard grooming kit, as you, I would have guessed, is the primary traffic traffic driving keywords. Let's go to Amazon.com. Beard grooming kit. This is what I want to evaluate right here. Also, I don't want to only rely on AMZ Scout Pro because sometimes these tools give different results. Also, 
there's going to be a different result for beard grooming kit than beard grooming and trimming kit beard care gift for men. They're going to be different because they're different keywords. Uh, that is how Amazon works. So let's open up Jungle Scout and see what it says. While it works, I'm going to take a sip of water. Earlier today, I was doing a uh, niche validation walkthrough video for someone that enrolled in my Ryan's Method Amazon FBA course. Uh, I do stuff like that to hook up the uh, students in my that choose to enroll in my courses. But by the way, I'm just going to shout out the courses. It is the most thorough Amazon FBA course on the internet, and my Amazon Merch course is the most thorough Amazon Merch course on the internet. There's almost 50 lectures in both of them. They're separate courses, but they're very complimentary. Merch helps you learn Amazon and this that would help you with FBA and, and vice versa, honestly. All right, high demand, high competition as expected. So this is probably enough to deter me from wanting to sell like beard grooming kits. I, I think it's truly too saturated and a lot of moving pieces. And like, I don't wanna assume that everybody's gonna be good at graphic design. Like I'm confident enough in my design ability to kind of brand my stuff. Um, I wouldn't wanna come to market with like generic branding, so. But most people wouldn't be. Uh, if you're not, though, there is a website called canva.com, C-A-N-V-A, that you could use to come up with branding for, like, lots of different products very easily. Um, and for, like, Facebook thumb, like Facebook group headers, YouTube thumbnails, like, Canva is awesome. So shout out Canva if you're not a good designer. Um, they make it very easy. And you don't have to pay to get in, but to do most of the useful stuff, they'll they'll make you pay. But it's... It, it's like nine bucks a month, 10 bucks a month if you do pay. Or maybe that's for the annual subscription. I think it's like 12 bucks a month if you don't do annual. All right. Hand woven round bag, shoulder leather, woven bag. I mean, no, that's too broad. And it took me back to the beard stuff. Interesting. We don't have to rely on AMZ Scout Pro. Uh, I was just fingerlings. It sounds like it probably might be trademarked. <sighs> Fingerlings again. So there's also tools, guys, that um, I don't think I'm currently paying for, but otherwise I would just use it. Uh, but if I was like deep diving for my own personal, if I was trying to launch a bunch of new Amazon products, uh, which gearing up for Q4, guys, we're in August right now as I record this. You, This is not the time to be launching new products. This is, I repeat, not the time to be launching new products. Um, it's okay to like launch your first product right now, but it's not the time to be like, like there are more optimal times to launch new products. And the reason I'm saying this is because in the fourth quarter, Amazon's inventory fees go through the roof and it used to be that like long-term storage fees were assessed based on how long they were there at Amazon's warehouses. Then they basically just started hitting people with like almost the equivalent of long-term storage fees in the fourth quarter every month, no matter what. So you do not want to be like overstocked at Amazon warehouses in the fourth quarter. Trust me. Um, kettle and fire. What is this? I don't know what this is. Just bone broth. That's crazy. Cause I had bone broth soup today. Uh, for dinner but i mean is it worth checking alibaba for bone broth i don't know i, I mean consumables i don't sell any consumables on amazon truth truthfully uh i wouldn't i wouldn't go there i would not go there personally would i sell bone broth yeah if i had the connections which I actually might now that i think about it i know somebody in the uh food co-packing and manufacturing business they actually wanted my help bringing their CBD products to Amazon. But what you'll notice if you type CBD into Amazon uh, is that they don't let you sell CBD on Amazon. But you can disguise it as like hemp oil and get away with it, which people are doing. But yeah, and if they ever actually say it's okay, then I already know I have somebody's account, somebody's business. Um 
tried some CBD lotion yesterday. It works. All right, what is this? Fermentation weights. I don't know what this is, but it looks small, lightweight. This could be promising. And I'm under the gun. I'm trying to do this quickly. And I'm not going to go super in-depth because for me to like actually spend money on a product, yeah, I, I, I deep dive. And I give you all the steps that I that I actually do in my course. And I've also published more in-depth videos of, on my YouTube channel in the past. But this looks like it could be promising. Average sales rank 56K. That's a good range for average. Uh, average monthly sales 318. I love that number. Now 298. Either way, 10 sales a day. Perfect. Niche score 8. Average reviews under 200. Average price 2169. Okay, so we're above 20. Perfect monopolistic and numerous reviews all right let's check that out are all the sales going to the same people or are other people um and by the way i didn't fully scope this video out i apologize if you don't know what i'm doing right now um these little numbers underneath each listing is the best seller rank and the lower the number the better that means you're getting more sales because it's the best seller rank relative to the other products in this category so the way you see the number underneath each of these listings is called a uh, ds amazon quick view it's a free chrome extension just go to google ds space amazon space quick space view i also usually put a link in the description it's my favorite chrome extension for amazon sellers check that out all right fermentation weights Let's come over here to Alibaba, see what it is going for. All right, so they got it. They look affordable. Uh, this seller's got a very low price. It looks like we'll be able to get them in the range of like 50 cents a piece. So that's good. I, don't, I still don't understand what they are, but who cares if people are buying them? And anyways, yeah, bestseller rank. So the lower the better. We're seeing bestseller ranks as low as 1,800, 1,900. You see multiple people under 2,000. That's a great indicator. We also see multiple sellers in the four figures, which is, so they're not in the 2,000s, but they're under 10,000. That's great. And each bestseller rank is unique to that category. So it's good to you know, and by the way, these are just rough estimates. When I run like the Jungle Scout tool, this isn't like guarantee, but they have run studies and had people volunteer their actual data to validate some of these things. And uh, it is pretty accurate. Jungle Scout won the most accurate tool award. However, the study was conducted by Jungle Scout. So there's that. Um, okay, so what I'm looking for is revenue. So this has a sales rank of just about 10,000, BSR of 10,000. And it's doing $9,153 a month. So if you're doing that much a month times 0 0.2, let's just say with PPC, they're making about 20% profit margin per sale, which could very easily be higher, by the way. That'd be $1,830 a month. That is the sweet spot. That is like, for the, the common man like you and I, uh, you know, that aren't like becoming overnight Amazon millionaires that are aiming for like the six-figure monthly profits, which there's nothing wrong with, but... Keep in mind, if you're making six-figure monthly profit, you have to bankroll the inventory ahead of time. And when you look at your bank account, if you don't have like six figures in there or close, um, it might not be feasible to pursue those types of products. Now, I've built my way up over time. And if you follow my channel, go check out my most recent income report. I am entering a niche that has six-figure monthly profit upside. And it is a little bit scary when I go to the, the bank to wire money you know, the first order was, um, what was it? I think it was, I'm sorry. I just did the second order. That's why I'm like blanking, but I, I know the first order was at least 25 K and I just did the second order and it's going to cost me at least 10 grand more than that. So it's, it's a little bit crazy parting ways with that much money at a time, just sending it overseas and assuming that everything's going to be okay. But anyways, that's part of the game and the first order was fine. So the second order is going to be fine. And I can, I know I can move them. I'm getting off topic and I said, I was going to do this quickly. I apologize. So yeah, so if this makes you two grand a month profit, this is perfect. Try to build your catalog of FBA offerings. Get like 10 of these, make 20 grand a month profit. And then instead of pulling the money out, just keep building that number up. Like why not, you know, why stop? Or do what I'm doing and like reinvest some of that money into like a leveled up product. I don't know what leveled up even means. It just means like when you're evaluating the revenue that the best sellers in this niche are doing, 
then you kind of know what the ceiling is. You know, you can see it without actually selling it. So this is Amazon's choice. If we click this and run Jungle Scout, this is basically showing us like the best we could hope to achieve if we sell this product. It's not going to be six figure monthly upside, especially if the revenue is not six figures a month, right? So each niche is different, but this is 26.8K uh, times 0. Point, let's say they're number one. So let's just say times 0. 0.3. Like in the brand, uh, my best selling brand where I have multiple uh, products in the top five, you know, I have like a 35% profit margin on my organic rank one and I don't have to really run PPC. I still do, but like it's organic rank one, 35% profit margin. Um, so yeah, eight grand. If this dude's doing 30% profit, this is really nice. This is a product that I would look further into. This listing's not even that good. I mean, the keywords are okay. You know, it has 310 customer reviews, so it doesn't really matter. I'm, it's going to be tough to like dethrone somebody with 300 plus reviews and four and a half star average rating, uh, already like after that many sales. So, but even if we don't overtake number one, there's nothing wrong with being the guy, uh, this guy right here who's doing like, let's just say $1,800 profit a month. So this to me, and if you're wondering like next steps, like I'm not, I, there's still further research to do. What I like to do is I like to, for one, click this little prime checkbox to filter out non-prime offers because we're really competing with the prime people. And then I like to scroll through and like manually count my competition, which could include like actually opening up the listings and uh, evaluating like, if they're quality or not, because if they're not quality, I just ignore them. They're not posing a threat to me. If they're quality, then, you know, like this one sucks. Look, one picture and it's like a really, okay, it wasn't bad resolution, but it's just one picture. So, wow. Okay. 462 customer reviews, even with such a crappy listing and he has enhanced brand content. What? So, he has a trademarked brand in enhanced brand content and he only has one listing image, which is quite strange. Either way, I like to evaluate the competition manually and get that way. I'm not relying on the tools too much and see exactly who I need to overtake. Make sure that there's enough weak spots in their listings where if I come and bring my best that I can offer with my like kick ass product listing with great images, great keywords, um, you know, a PPC strategy, like I, I like before I invest in a product, I like to go into campaign manager and AMS both and check the uh, recommended keyword bids for different ad types. That way I have my advertising strategy down. So at a minimum, I know I'm going to be running sponsored products, which are these first two listings right here that are both green. Um, they say sponsored, but I also like to leverage headline search ads, which you can see up here. Uh, with these three products and a lot of people don't take advantage of those because uh, you need to have three products at a minimum advertised to run them but there's you know you can get creative with that and uh, I teach all this in my course this is not meant to be like me pitching my course is meant to just show you guys my research process at a high level everything in the course though if you do if you're considering is extremely detailed there's written content with screenshots I do breakdowns of product research with different tools like I do helium 10 AMZ Scout Pro and Jungle Scout, each individual with all with videos. Um, but even without the course, guys, hopefully you've learned something today. Uh, it didn't take me too long. I don't know. I'm not really paying attention to how long I've been recording, but we did good. I mean, I like this product. So this is definitely worth investigating further. It seems to be small, lightweight. Uh, the only downside, it might be glass, so it could break easily. So you'd want to make sure your supplier does something like, I don't want to click this guy's listing because I don't want to charge him money because it's a sponsored product, but you see how it's like embedded in styrofoam, uh, not styrofoam, but foam, you know, glass products break in the mail. That's not groundbreaking. Everybody knows it's true. I'm selling some glass products right now and the return rate is higher than most of my products because they're glass and guess what? Yeah, they break. Um, you know, it's just part of part. It's just how it goes sometimes. Anyways, thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, please hit that like button. If you're new here, please consider subscribing. I have a free Amazon FBA mini course, by the way, that I deliver via email over uh, seven days. And it'll also get you on my newsletter for Amazon FBA content. So go ahead and check that out uh, completely free. Just need your email address. Links always below. 
And uh, any questions, comments, feedback, hit me up below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. But thank you guys for watching this video and I'll see you at the next one. Passive Income School is open. Enroll now at riotsmethod.com. Thank you.